Against you, you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. One thinks that when he sins, he is sinning against others, such as the person who steals, murders, or acts unjustly, or that he sins against himself as in neglecting his studies, his health, or wasting his future either on earth or in eternity. But the danger is sin, is that one sins against God. But the danger in sin is that one sins against God. Therefore David says to the Lord, Against you, you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight. David did not say that he sinned against Uriah the Hittite or against his personal chastity, the same with Joseph the righteous, when he was tempted to sin, he refused, saying, How can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Joseph did not say that he would sin against Potiphar and his wife. That was how deep the understanding of Joseph the righteous. Sin is disobeying God, defying Him and breaking His commandments. Therefore, the Bible said, Whoever commits sin also commits lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. It was also said, You who make your boast in the law, do you dishonor God through breaking the law? For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. For that reason, sin through the commandment might become exceedingly sinful. Sin is a separation from God, getting out of His fellowship, love and kingdom, because what communion has light with darkness, and what accord has Christ with Belial? The one who sins becomes separated from God, like the prodigal son who separated himself from his father's house and left him. Sin is even an empty with God because it is the love of the world. The Apostle says, Friendship with the world is enmity with God. It is despising God's commandment. Therefore, it was said to David the prophet, Why have you despised the commandment of the Lord to do evil in his sight? Because you have despised me and have taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be your wife. Even when you sin against yourself, you are sinning against God's image. When you sin against your body, you are sinning against God's temple, which is within you. Therefore, the Apostle says, If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy, which temple are you? Therefore, the sin is unlimited because it is against God the unlimited. So next time you think of sinning, remember that you are sinning against God Himself. I hope you're still with us. Stay with us and look at the following poem. Once I was a sin sick. Once I was sin sick, lost without God. I didn't know about the shepherd's rod. Then I heard about repentance, that I could get rid of all my sins. I went to church to hear God's word. I was convicted by the word I'd heard. They started singing Amazing Grace. The tears started running down my face. My heart was racing and pounding too. I knew right then what I had to do. I ran to the altar as fast as I could. I cried out to Jesus just like I should. I know he heard me when I cried out, because when I arose there was no doubt. He had come into my heart to stay. Everything was like a brand new day. His rod and his staff, they comfort me. 
He is my protector, can't you see? He leads me beside still waters today. He will keep watch over me, lest I stray. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. He lights my way so that I can see. I have left that old life far behind. I now can see I'm no longer blind. My hopes are not built on sinking sand, but my sights are set on a bitter land. He saved my soul and set me free. I am no longer the person I used to be. If you are a sin sick, I want to invite you to get your life changed around you too. Nothing is worse than being a sinner, but living for Jesus, you are a winner. Cry out to him right from your heart. He will come in and never depart. He will love you like never before, just as soon as you knock on his door. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, hear the prayers we offer from contrite hearts. Have pity on us as we acknowledge our sins. Lead us back to the way of holiness. Protect us now and always from the wounds of sin. May we ever keep safe in all its fullness the gift your love once gave us and your mercy now restores. Amen.